In today's video, we'll be exploring 1Password. We'll explain what it is, what it does, how to use it, and we'll kind of just do a quick demo. So let's get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, what is 1Password? Well, at like the very simplest terms, 1Password is like a password manager, it's a password vault, just like what we've uh, explored on previous videos. So as you can see here, um, pretty much the same selling points as we've seen in the other type of um, password managers. You can put your passwords in here, you can put your credit card, your personal information, your notes, uh, documents, basically you can put all of your personal information here and uh, keep it in a secured location. They also offer syncing, which, you know, uh, it's something that we kind of need in 2022. So uh, if you're exploring different password managers, make sure you have um, syncing uh, in your list of things to consider. Ultimately though, 1Password uh, is a premium password manager. It's not free. It does come with a free trial. Um, I'll put a link in the description here for you to check it out. So make sure and grab that link. But uh, we're gonna hop into the program now and we're gonna see how it works. Something really interesting that I forgot to mention is that you can download this software and you can sign up for free without entering a credit card right away. So what they do is they give you 14 days to try it out. There's a link in the description to activate that 14 day trial, so make sure and grab that link. But I just wanna make sure that uh, you knew that there was a trial so that you could test it out before you put any money in if you liked it. All right, once you've signed up, the next step is to download the apps. So you should be presented with a page like this, and if you click on the Get the Apps button, you should see all the links to the different assets. Um, typically here, we're only gonna need two. So I'm on Windows, so I'll download 1Password for Windows, and then I'll also install 1Password for Chrome so that I can use it in my browser. Okay, it took about 30 seconds. We got both the desktop app and the Chrome app uh, installed, 1Password. And uh, this is what you should see now. Uh, this is the Windows app and then in the browser here. Um, you should see in the top right corner here, this is the 1Password extension. Um, but we don't have any data in here. So the next step is to import the data. And this is optional for you. If you just want to start fresh, you don't have to import anything. But if you're looking to import old passwords, things like that, um, I have over a thousand passwords. So I definitely am going to import. So I just want to show you how to do that. Um, to do that, you definitely have to hop into your web browser, log into onepassword.com, select your name, and then there's an import button here. And what you'll see is you'll end up on a page like this, and essentially what you can do is you can import your passwords. Yeah, so in my instance, uh, it's Chrome, so I'm going to just upload my CSV. Uh, it's going to import 900 so passwords, and then once it's in, it's in. And uh, the, be the beautiful thing about this 1Password software is that uh, it syncs across all your devices, right? So if you have this software installed on your phone or your iPad or your computers, you know, it syncs across all of them. So it's really, really nice and really useful to kind of keep all of your passwords in one place and allow you to sync them between all your devices. Um, so that's pretty much how you would import your stuff. Now that we're set up here, let's just make sure it works. So I'm gonna go over here to Twitter and I'm just gonna see if it will populate my username and password. And uh, as you can see in the top right corner here, I have the 1Password extension already installed in Chrome. So in theory, if I click on this, it should populate uh, some username that I have saved in my vault, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click. And as you can see, they all pop up. And let's say I wanna just click on one to log in and click on it and then go to next. And you can see the password is already stored. So this is working perfectly and it's really simple to use. Well, I think 1Password is a great tool overall. I think it's an awesome password manager. There are some pros and there are some cons, so I'll go over those now. On the pro side of things, I think it's really, really user friendly. Super easy to use, easy to set up, easy to kind of hit the ground running. I also like that there's um, some pretty extensive um, organization and categorization type uh, tools within this software. I think that really helps keep things organized and clean. Um, so if you do like organization, that's something to remember. But on the con side, I'm just really not happy that they don't have a free plan. I feel like they should have a free plan. Um, 
But that's pretty much all that I have on the con side. Like I really wish they just had a free plan, but overall it works great. It's really simple to use. And if you're looking for a no frills solution, this is definitely the one I recommend. So grab a link in the description, activate your 14 day trial, and let's see if it's the right tool for you.